and this and what I was just basically saying that I don't feel like most men even realize that it's it's almost like you don't put your girl, your woman in the place of your home, like your homeboy. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I be seeing posts all the time where they be saying that men are what they saying? They are emotionally attracted to their homeboys, but physically attracted to women. Yikes. That's kind of what she explained. Mm -hmm. Because your emotional connection to a woman is cut off because you don't understand the feminine state. Is it that you don't understand the feminine state or do or is it that you don't know how to be vulnerable mm -hmm. with a woman? Because how can you, because for me to, it, to think about a man saying mm -hmm. that a man is emotionally attached mm -hmm. to his homeboy mm -hmm. versus the female that he is in a relationship with, mm -hmm. that, that's new for me. Yeah, and I, and I, and I agree with this thing. Can you, really? I actually mm -hmm. agree. I was, from being around me and being emotionally a man, attached, I can see them having, for instance, your homeboy can say a joke. You can laugh. Your girl can say the same joke. It got on your nerves. Why? Hmm. But is that emotionally attached? I feel like that's the, I feel like it's, it's somewhere, it's somewhere in that line. Because mm -hmm. to, 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 to you, she got on your nerves. She too clingy. She saying stuff. What's your corny. definition of clingy when it comes to a woman? I don't really. I like my woman clingy. I like my woman. Really? Above. Yeah. I, if I could have my woman with me every day, we together every day. Every one of my relationships has been like it. If, if you look back at it. Mr. Shakira, we was every so you day. you want to open like this? I ain't going to say like, but I'm saying she's not going to get on my nerves of being around. Okay. Nah. She so not. that's what you're saying. Like. Not on my nerves of being around. So there's not a time in a relationship where you feel like, look, I just need, of course, some a healthy balance, some me time. Yeah, like, yeah. You go she in got this her room, friends. yeah, and let me go in this room, or I may go out and kick it with my friends on Friday night. You go out and kick it with your friends on Friday night. Oh yeah, of course, gotta have it. That's that's most definitely. But I don't think I would. I wouldn't look at it as clean. I think I would just, if I was in that mood, like I need, I would just say it. Like right now, baby. Like I know you want, but you know. Are you touchy feely? Very affection. Got to have it. Really? If, if I don't have it, I don't feel connected. That's the number one. My love language is is touch for for sure. Okay. <laughs> My love language is not touch. Which one? Touching. I have to. I've been in relationships. I've been in a marriage with mm -hmm. a man who wants to sit beside me and touch, you know you rub know. on my leg. You didn't like that? No. It, what that, that got on my nerves? What's, like, your, what's your love language? Yeah. What, what, communication. Communication. That's, that's my number two. I yeah. say that's my number two. Communication and spending time. Mm -hmm. Communication and spending time. But this, you gotta be yeah. hold my. Yeah. We sitting on the couch and we watching a movie. I don't need you rubbing on my leg. What if it was a sometime? I don't need. Sometimes it's okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It sometimes it's okay, yeah. but both of almost every man I've been in a relationship was wanted like they want to touch. Quit all this. Let me, I gotta ask, do you feel like <laughs> how many hold on? Cause that's a good that's a good one, right? Is it a lot of do is how many women on here don't like I guess too much affection? To be touched all the time, but is that affection? Well, I guess for them it's showing affection. Mm, sh mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. She, they said auntie need her space. <laughs> <laughs> they it's a lot of them. What they saying? That they agree. Agree with what? They don't like too much touching. Yeah, all that touching. Wait a minute. <laughs> what? Mm -mm. So let because me. Because sometimes it can be too much. It can be too overwhelming. I mean, we just sitting on the couch. Why are you? We sitting on the couch watching the Lakers lose to the Nuggets. I don't need you rubbing on my leg. I don't need you. Uh. What if we might just automatically be assuming? But you know what? I I'm gonna say I don't need. I would have never listen, thought listen, that. Listen, I'm not. I'm not going to, I don't need it. I don't need it. But mm -hmm. if he needs it, I'm willing to, I had to learn how to accept that because it was times when you stop, 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 stop touching me. You know what I'm saying? So I had to think about how that made him feel. So I had to learn how to sit in that mm -hmm. and allow him to do that. Now, if you did it way too long, yeah. I'm like, come on now. I don't, you know, come yeah. on. but now, I had to learn how I had, I had to learn how to be patient with that. That's wild. I would have never assumed that. Now, I don't think I've ever been the 
I feel just, I don't think I've ever overly done that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I can read the mood, the time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never been at the mood theaters or watching the baseball games. Just, 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 I ain't never did it. But I, I most definitely, I need affection. I can give a you can give I, I can give it. I don't have a problem with it. I think it may be kind of like situational because I'm not a person that wants to like I got a guy now. He likes to be very huggy, feely, kissy. But in you, it's cool with him. In oh, public. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, we we sit you well, you, yeah. you ain't gotta you would think kiss well, and that, that kiss on my man. neck five, six we 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 eating dinner. You know, yeah, people, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but yeah. Again, I've grown to be patient with him because that's what, if that's what he wants to do, I try not to be so, mm. don't do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I do take his feelings into consideration. Hmm. But I can leave and take all of that, holding my hand, kissing on me all in public. Uh-uh. They say they, that man loves you. <laughs> <laughs> is that what it is? Okay, okay. So, <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me, now, I, I got to ask the women this. Do... Do you think there's a root to why the, you don't like the touching? I do. Much? Because I feel like the way I was brought up, mm -hmm. there were two, there was, it was somewhat of a balance. You got to think in my early upbringing, mm -hmm. you know, like when mom passed away at four and mm -hmm. we are with her parents, mm -hmm. her family, mm -hmm. they are not affectionate, affectionate mm -hmm. right? Gotcha. So that was my early upbringing. It mm -hmm. wasn't until I got to granny and daddy and and my yeah. granddaddy, auntie and all them. You know, granny, yeah. you know, you come to the door, you can't walk in her door without the hug uh, right, right, right. and Most the definitely. kiss. You yeah. can't, yeah. You <laughs> yeah. can't yeah. leave yeah. Right. without like, the you hug can't. You can't. Right. and the kiss. Right. And that's why I say that, you know, I, I know where it stems from, so I know that I have to be patient right. with it. Um, and I mean... And I like it. I mean, my kids, you know, we're, you know. That's I, what somebody just asked too. What about with your kids? With my kids. Oh, I'm. Very, yeah. Because I like the fact that that part of my family was affectionate. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? That granny man was affectionate. That, And I'm very affectionate when it comes to my kids. You know, it's the hugs. It's the kisses. It's the, mm. the you know, just like mm -hmm. when we came in here. Where was Austin at? Right here, oh, mm -hmm. laying right, on, right, you know, right, right. Laying, you know what I'm saying? So I and he need that. That's yeah, beautiful to me. Right, but see, I and it don't bother me. Yeah, when my kids come lay up on me mm -hmm. and and sit in my lap or lay on the couch with right. me or come lay in the bed, I love that. Right. But when it came to my relationships, sometimes it just was so kind of overwhelming mm. um, for me. But definitely not with my kids. One definitely. of the guys on her said she auntie need that experience. <laughs> They, 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 the affectionate experience. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I feel like I was the opposite. I didn't grow up with the affection. Like mama, mama wasn't affectionate. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like you said, granny, growing up there, you, you you hug and kiss. You hug and kiss when you leave. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't even think I could really realize that was a a part of to try to help me understand. You know what I'm saying? The affectionate part and the, the embracing the love. But I feel like I did the complete opposite. I realized I didn't have it. Mm -hmm. And it's cause Brittany the same way. Brittany mm -hmm. realized, you know, we didn't get the hugs and the I love you's and like I need it. Like touch on me because I knew, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't feel like I got it. So yeah. I feel like it's, it's just situational based. But I would have never thought I could be up on the, I'm actually sitting here thinking back how many times I was being affectionate and wondering what she just tolerating it and just mm. didn't, didn't communicate that. Right. And might have took that as he too much. Right. But the thing with me is I've always been able to communicate it. We would talk about it. Yeah. So then so they could try to balance it out because mm -hmm. I don't want to be in a relationship with you and you getting on my nerves. You know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. So that's very important for me. So I think that's where the communication and mm -hmm. relationships come in to where like, look, this this could be a little mm -hmm. bit too much for me and we're going to talk about why it's a little bit too yeah. much for me. Yeah, that's heavy. And then we're going to talk about why you may need that mm -hmm. a little bit more Yeah, because it's, it's most definitely going to go both ways. Yeah, right. And then yeah. we're going we gonna to balance it out. Yeah. But like the guy that I'm dating now, he don't care. That's, 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 he that's, don't, <laughs> that's key though. Because the compromise care. is real. Because mm -hmm my touching might stem from something exactly. as well as yours. Yep. You don't want the touching. Yep. And so that's important. Mm -hmm. That's a, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that was heavy right and there. And one of the things for him, I think for him, he came from a family of, I think he's like number 11 out of like 12, 13 brothers and sisters. Damn. 
And then on top of that, his mom was killed. His mm. mom was murdered on mm. his birthday. Mm. So I feel like, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. that's why I try to be a, yeah. wet, a little yeah. bit more understanding. Both people can win in the conversation, yeah, though. Because he could, he could, he could, he could, he could moderate it a little bit. He could be, yeah, in my but life. I would say the one thing I do love about the relationship is that he is always asking me, what do I want? What do you like? What, like you know it. what I'm saying? Like, I'm like what it. the expectation like is. And so it's kind of like back and forth. So mm -hmm. when you know what a person wants, what they likes, what they expect, right. then it makes the relationship easier to work. I'm glad you said question. Because at what point do you open that door? Because that's vulnerability. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of a lot of women tend to make the mistake of giving too much information in the beginning to let them wear. At what point... Cause you told me yes, like six months. Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. Me, like the way with this guy I'm dating now. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was about six, seven months to open that door to to, to start saying what you like and don't. So yeah. you won't be able to f fake the phone. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Because I feel like when we first meet people, we're meeting the best version, version of them. Right. I need to see, like you said, I need to see what are you like in that vulnerability state. Right. I don't feel like people are trying to show you that in two or three months. You're right. not trying to show me that. Right. And then I don't know if you can handle it when they do come. Exactly. Right. When you, uh, because you said communication, I feel like I've been home six years. I feel like I've probably really, if I'm being honest, just matured in the communication level probably about two years ago. Really? Where I can. In I'm a relationship. A, yeah. Where okay. I'm going to be complete. I'm going to be vulnerable. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to shoot it straight. You know what I'm saying? I ain't the lying. Cause I'm 35 now. Cause I've had to ask myself, why did you just lie like that? Why did you? Or why didn't you just say what you really felt? Why didn't mm -hmm. you just say? Because sometimes you think people can't handle what you're about to say. Like that would be that would be tough on me. But I what? could for a woman to say, hey, look, I know you. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes I don't. It would hurt me, but I'm to the point, I'm mature now, I would have been like, hmm, because I would have asked the same thing. Where mm -hmm. do you think they come from? It would have helped me get understanding. But I think years ago, I would have, I would have it would have, I probably would have fly to flight mode. Yeah. It would have struck, it would, and yeah. it would have, it would have abused my ego probably a little bit. Because I would have been thinking I was doing something and the whole time. I've been getting on there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. It would have made me hesitant to touch you. So you would have, yeah. Yeah, it would have yeah. made me hesitant because I would have never, I would have been able to read when. But, so you're saying you weren't mature enough to accept the communication of what her yeah. what she would have told you. Yeah, and that and my I think communication now like I, it's probably the most fun part I think of it because like I I can I feel like now like I I really like to talk. I do too. Yeah. If I cannot hold. Any type of conversation, not mm -hmm. any type, but if I can't hold a conversation with some substance in it, mm -hmm. you you might as well not even don't 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 be bothered. Yeah, I can't I can't be bothered. You have to be able to to communicate. I you you can't communicate. Mm -mm. What was hard for you, V? Communication. At what at what, at what age do you think you was uh, mature as far as communication effectively? Like not biting your tongue, being open. Like what at what point? And able to really in a get, relationship, yeah. And at the point of where it was like, because I could want to communicate something and dismiss it on the strength of it's gonna turn into an argument. It's gonna be hot. It's gonna cause a hostile environment. She ain't gonna. And so I'll just avoid it. That's always been my strongest suit. Yeah, my communication has always been a strength for me. So you have to you have to remember, I got married at. 22. Are mm -hmm. uh, you on sugar? Are uh, you on head at all? You don't yeah, have it. <laughs> you don't have it. So, communicate. I've, I've always been able to communicate. Mm -hmm. This is auntie. This is auntie. If you have this is auntie, I speak on. I spoke on a few times when I would tell you I she's a straight shooter. So it's my. Yeah, I've always. Yeah, I've yeah. always been able to communicate. Mm -hmm. I. And I don't know. Sometimes maybe say you know may communicate too much. But Where you think that came from? Who had that? Granny, granddad, who had Most that? Most definitely granny. Granny. Yes. Most Our granny was a straight shooter like that. What? <laughs> straight no chaser. Yeah. Look, she would tell you, if you don't want to know the truth, don't ask me. <laughs> yeah. So I took that mark. If you don't want to know the truth, do not. Because I'm yeah. giving it to you. And yeah. sometimes, but you know what? I as I've grown and matured and whether it was a relationship or friendship or work, you know, colleagues mm -hmm. or whatever, I sometimes have to 
pull myself back because sometimes I realize that I was too much for mm, people in settings, handle. regardless of what the setting mm -hmm. was. I realized I was too, too much. Mm -hmm. But now, as I've gotten older, I'm like, you know what? That is what it is. It is what Man, it is. Listen. It is what it is now. <laughs> yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, I'm like, uh, and yeah. I tell people now, I'm like, look, I'm not dumbing myself down. This is who I am. Yeah, this, I, this, who I am. Is who this is who I am. am. Yeah. This is who I'm confident yeah. in who I am to be, to say. And if it's too much for yeah. me, then you just yeah. don't need to be in my space. That's, I just because got to that I'm point. what I'm saying to you, I'm not saying it to hurt you. Mm -hmm. right? right. And you so know that you if you know, know me. me. Yeah, you know me. I'm not saying it to hurt, hurt you. Right. I'm saying it in a helpful way. And it works both ways. And it's if not I'm enough of that. I got to be able to. It's not enough of that. It's not enough of blunt. Honesty to right. me, you know what I'm saying. It, it, a lot of things water down sugar, and you wonder why in any relationship when you run into the next person, and it's because they went person after person after person. Nobody never told them the truth. Nobody's never shot it straight with mm -hmm. them. Nobody never just hey look what. And by the time because when that when that girl told me, you go to the store, you get your stuff and do little, like it was a lot of things. I looked back and I was like, hmm, and I thought. I done a lot of things and not knowing I was missing them. And had she not said it, I wouldn't have, I would have it would have right. never hit me. It would never hit me. But I feel like there were probably women before that mm -hmm. who realized certain things and they tolerated it. Yeah. They put up with it. They yeah. knew what they wanted and never Yeah, he did it again. Maybe he'll get it and and right. I never but you never told me. Right. If you can't tell me, yeah. if you don't tell me, then I don't know. But then also too, when you Think about it. it's not just even even in relationships because when you were talking, I was thinking about that's why so many people get into fake friendships, mm. fake friendships. You know because mm. if you don't have a friend that you can trust to be completely honest with you, no mm. matter what, mm -hmm. then that's how a lot of people just be. You know, in these old it's real. fake fake listen listen. And I, I can't I mean, do the fake and, friendships. And that's why I, because I, I got a, I, I I got a my cousin who is. Big sister, been friend forever. Then I, another, then I got another. Then I got another friend. Yeah. Listen. Yeah. Straight shoes. Coming to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm saying the friend who's telling mm -hmm. you right, wrong. Mm -hmm. Not that you gotta even agree. Yeah. I have. A, I sit down. She said, "You know you're wrong, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. You know you're wrong." Yeah. And I feel like as individuals, we need that. We need we'll that to. person that we know we can go to and it's going to check you mm -hmm. and knowing that when mm -hmm. they check you, they're checking you out of love. love right. It's not out of anything mm -mm. else. Mm -mm. And if you don't have that yeah. in your life, that person that you can go to and be like... You're in trouble. Yeah, you in trouble. You in trouble because you, you, you got a bunch of uh, yes men yeah. around you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't do that. Yeah, that's the word. Faithful all the that. wounds of a friend. I'm going to tell you the truth even if it's the, the, friendship, the friendship because yeah. later on you it's no way later on maybe you're gonna be like and you know i didn't do it to hurt you it was you know what i'm saying it was it was the truth um what was i finna ask you um thank i was finna ask you something and you know me i sit in my stubbornness i'll tell her like you know what i don't care i know i'm wrong yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she'll look at me she's like you know you wrong i was like yeah mm -hmm. somebody said uh oh, that's my home girl she said i want to meet your auntie and get her advice <laughs> I, we're gonna do this more often, you know what I'm saying? Auntie in Tennessee, they they was in town. You know, my uh my little cousin had a basketball game, so most definitely had to get on the live. Yeah, uh, yeah. Let me see what we got. Okay, we finna get on TikTok after this. <laughs> we finna get that too. We finna get that YouTube. Y'all see how he got me? I just came in, got I asked was straight blanket <laughs> on, you know. I said, <laughs> after the next one, we're on a flight leave, but it's cool. Yeah, we uh yeah, cause we gotta go eat. You wanna go now? Oh, you want to get your nap? Cause I can get. Oh, you. I'm straight. I ain't gonna take no nap. I Are you good? Playing. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Oh, uh, let me see. I most definitely be. Let me see. Let's see. Auntie, interesting. They said they like you. Yeah, yeah. Auntie popped. Yeah, they popped in. They popped in. Let me see. Ah, for sure, Britton. For sure. He's a wonderful host. Wonderful host. I try. I try. Yeah. I try. You know, it's good. It's 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 good to be in this place in life because now we can. I can, you know. Uh, auntie, auntie was the one that, other than Uncle Squeaker, was a lot. You know, what I'm saying involved in my life. You know, what I'm saying when I look at my daddy's side of the family, then Auntie, Auntie, I was you always been a straight shooter though. Oh I tell, yeah, I tell Dad all the time. We'd be on the phone, and I'd be like, "Man, I'm about to call Auntie, but man." I already know what she's gonna say. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Get what he's saying in his hand. I already know she ain't finna play, especially when it come to 
you know, my uh, relationship. <laughs> Man, listen. He already know. I ain't even finna call her and tell her that because she gonna <laughs> she gonna she go, go flat foot right. off. I tell I tell the, the, the women I have talked to about the, when you call or something, I'll be like, that's my auntie. They're like, ah, right, what's up? You and your auntie close? I'm like, yeah, she the old protective. Oh, you gotta come through me. <laughs> yeah. She the old protective. You, you, you gotta you come go, through me. You gonna get it. You gonna get it. He talking about anything serious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta meet me first. <laughs> what I, I call this here. I've been thinking about getting the ring. What? I let me meet that girl. <laughs> right, right. We ain't doing yeah. that. Hold yeah. up. We ain't going to the jewelry store yet because she, yeah. she, she gotta pass the test. I'm done. She gotta I'm pass done. the test. But yeah, that's, that's, that's my baby, man. She most definitely gonna hold me accountable. And I and I and you, you, what you just saying that I don't think I've had that from too many people other than you know what I'm saying daddy. Uh, once we got into, <laughs> once we got into that, you know what I'm saying. Now nah, that's that's my that's my auntie. What's up, Marky? What you got going on? You been letting me call you Murky on here the whole time. It's been and I hit you early. You ain't even hit me back. What you got going on? I ain't I ain't being no side piece. I'm gonna tell you that now. Out there playing. Yeah. Uh. Now nah, I'm from. I'm, well, we from Tennessee. I moved to Dallas like two years ago. Yeah, that's the auntie everybody used to say I look like growing up. People used to run into me all the time and tell me, uh, you must be Ken to Chantel. Man, my auntie. What you mean? Exactly. <laughs> it's my auntie. Well, let me jump up out here. We finna go eat, man. We finna go to, uh, I ain't gonna tell you, you know, y'all pull up. Uh, y'all. <laughs> I said where I was at one day, man. They pulled up on me. I was on live. They, man, I want your live. Oh, yeah, I can't do that no more. <laughs> your name is Chantel? I ain't know that. Uh, Mexico, how you spell yours? You say yours with two T's or one? Uh, one. It's C H A N T E L. Ah, yeah, yours. Y'all forgot, your, forgot yours with the. Yeah, hers is. Yeah, hers is. S, she got S H. Oh, see, S that's how Stevie used to spell mine wrong for all them years. You know they used to spell my name wrong. I didn't know how to spell my name right till I got to the eighth grade. I'm like, what are y'all doing? What are y'all doing? Now I ain't gonna tell them Black Diamond. Let me see who that is with that little hat on like that right there. I see you, Black Diamond. Where you at on the beach right there? Mm-hmm. I see you. But let me jump up off here, man. I'm gonna save this conversation. I'm gonna put it on my I'm gonna put it on my YouTube. If you ain't already got me on YouTube, go to my uh nah, my auntie from Tennessee. Why you asking me that? Who is that? Oh, black man. <laughs> <laughs> Ronald, what you got going on? <laughs> but now nah, see uh yeah, I'm gonna put it on my YouTube. If you ain't got me on YouTube, go to my YouTube, Joe Baker. Uh if you ain't already following me, y'all hit y'all double tap that screen and, and follow me. Y'all know what it is. It's a blessing, man. Yes, sir. For sure. All right. Yeah.